Good morning, everyone. Our psalm of the day today is Psalm 64. When I was a boy, my brothers and I loved to watch the cartoon, The Wacky Races. There were all kinds of characters racing one another across America, but the villain was Dick Dastardly. He was always plotting ways of cheating and defeating his opponents so that he could win. And he didn't seem to care how he won as long as he did. Thankfully, Dick Dastardly's schemes were always overcome somehow, and the race went on to a finish. There was always something satisfying about that. Psalm 64 reminds us that the human race also has its evil conspirators. David pleads with God, Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the plots of evildoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. These opponents are not cartoon characters, but flesh and blood enemies who shoot from ambush at the innocent and shoot without fear. They love plotting evil and boast we have devised a perfect plan. Of course, we can see this pattern of conspiracy being played out in the life of Christ as the rulers plotted his arrest, trial and execution. As Jesus expired on the cross, they may well have congratulated themselves on devising the perfect plan. And today, the human mind and heart are cunning, and evil schemes of injustice are being planned against the Lord and his people. Like David, we can bring this concern to the Lord. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And the wicked say of their actions, who will see it? But this song assures us that God sees very clearly. But God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their tongues against them and bring them to ruin. David saw something of this in time, as Absalom and those who plotted with him were defeated and brought to ruin. But the song points us forward to the day of the risen Christ, when he will appear again to bring justice and judgment to the living and the dead. As Peter declared to Cornelius, the Roman centurion and his household, he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead, all the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. And that last sentence brings us to the final verse of the psalm. The righteous will rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. All the upright in heart will glory in him. The dick dastardlies of this world will be thrown down by the Lord Jesus. But here's the promise of the gospel. The righteous are those who take refuge in him. Everyone who believes in him receives the forgiveness of sins through his name. So may God encourage you today through the assurance of his justice and the promise of his grace. Amen.